All right, good morning. morning. Welcome to Dewpoint. The room is very full. I see we've got some people standing. Okay, we tried de incentivize these mornings by offering people more points by tuning into the live stream, but alas. Okay, uh, my name's Rob van der Bale. I'm one of the executives here at Dewpoint. We're going to be spending about the next 60 minutes together. I'm going to be going through uh, who Dewpoint is. Um, and what this opportunity is all about. Welcome to everyone who's tuned in around the country on the live stream. Uh, you're at Dewpoint's head office. We're actually a division of a company called Constantia Insurance Company Limited. Constantia is a registered insurance company in South Africa. Uh, that's their building in the background, their little orange logo. You might recognize that logo, you might not. Uh, they typically only deal with other financial institutions and not typically the public, but for the first time through Dewpoint as a division, are we now... Uh, directing our efforts directly towards the public. Constantia was founded in 1952, a very long time ago, way before I was born. Um, looking around the room, maybe at the same time as some of you were born. Um, but they've been around for a very long time, a very reputable business. Uh, they played a fundamental role in developing the insurance industry uh, in South Africa. The FSP number that we operate under, that one that you see over there, and you'll notice in the foyer above our water cooler um, next to the entrance, we've got all these certificates up on the wall. Uh, those are our FSB licenses. We've got a long and short-term insurance license. We've got a long-term investment license, and we've got our FSP license on display. We've also got our accreditation with the direct selling and the direct marketing associations. We take credibility very seriously here at Dewpoint uh, and at Constantia. It's uh, fundamental that at this stage when we're proposing a partnership that you trust the business that we're going to be proposing to you. Uh, so I hope that you start building some trust and credibility in the business we're speaking about. Constantia is actually listed on the Joburg Stock Exchange under a company called Conduit Capital. So you're welcome to go do a background check on uh, the company. This is the executive and the senior management team here at Dewpoint. Uh, the three individuals on the far left are all chartered accountants, but you can see it goes from least best looking to the best looking. <laughs> kind, of, kind of from the shortest. Brendan's standing on a box, so it's actually, it really is from the shortest to the tallest. Uh, but we start with the three registered chartered accountants. Brendan is the senior executive here. Uh, I hope he's not tuned into the live stream. I'll get a written warning on <laughs> Monday morning. Uh, but we're very lucky to have him uh, leading this business because uh, he's got a lot of experience in financial services, particularly in insurance. His family have been entrenched in insurance his entire life. His father's actually a professor of insurance who taught at WITS for 25 years. Uh, his father, Dr. Benfield, uh, founded Clientele Life, one of the most successful long-term insurers in the country. And Brendan and his brother Stuart uh, followed in their father's footsteps and uh, they founded together with um, another consortium, Prime Meridian Direct PMD, which is a very successful short-term insurer based just down the road from us. And you'll know PMD because they do a ton of advertising on all forms of mediums on a daily basis. Uh, then we've got Tim Reynolds. He's got experience in corporate banking. He was with the first Rand Group for a number of years. He reported directly to the board of executives there. He heads up our auditing, our regulatory, and uh, our accounting aspects here at Dewpoint. Stacey supports him in that role. She's got a lot of experience in auditing. She worked with Deloitte uh, all her working career, which hasn't been too long. She, you can see she's the youngest of all of us and the best looking. Um, but she worked locally as well as overseas before coming back to South Africa and joining the team here. And then the two colorful people, I know the photo is black and white, but we're, we're the colorful group, the accountants not so much. I think they started the business to make friends. Um, but <laughs> Jane has got a lot of experience in direct marketing and direct selling. She's from York in the UK, although she's been in South Africa for about 10 years. Uh, so if you speak to her, you'll notice her Yorkshire accent. Uh, but even though we're an insurance business, our growth is predicated on uh, network or referral marketing. And so Jane brings all that experience to the business. And then myself, I've been working in marketing and advertising uh, most of my career. I did try to do a stint in engineering at WITS, um, but the work was overwhelming there. So I went back into the workplace where it was a lot cushier than studying from 8.30 till 5 every single day before homework even started. Um, so I've been in marketing ever since. Uh, I started a digital agency in the mid-90s when the internet was booming. Remember you had the little modem on the table that made lots of noise, screeching noises. Uh, that's when I started a digital agency. We focused primarily on uh, internet development and design, apps and that type of thing. Ran that business for about 17 years before I exited and uh, joined the team here at Dewpoint. So as staff here at Dewpoint, our mandate is to support the people that come 
and partner in this business. So again, another fundamental step in you know, any proposition around partnership, know that the partners that you're going to be looking at joining are going to be collaborating with you. It's in our mandate to see you as effective uh, as possible in this business. As a company, we can only be successful if uh, our wealth engineers, the people that join this business, are effective at, and successful uh, in this business. And so we share this common, uh, this common strategy, this common goal together. Okay, so why are we here on this lovely winter morning? Uh, wasn't so cold this morning, was it? So everyone got out of bed. They didn't nestle under the covers. But why are you here? Because I'm sure there's much better things to be doing on a Saturday morning than coming to listen to Rob talking about a business opportunity on a Saturday morning. We like to look at the driving behavior. Um, why people would be interested in some entrepreneurial opportunity. And I can tell you now... That for the majority of us, we're here because employment isn't the answer to our issues. Uh, I would assume majority of the people in the room are employed. Um, and we're all kind of at the mercy of a whole bunch of driving factors. The one we look at is the economy. Anyone happy with the economy at the moment? Oh, I love it when these economists come onto the radio and they start telling us about South Africa's in a recession. And uh, the outlook for the economy was 1%, but they've slashed it to a half percent. And I'm just like... Whatever. Create more jobs, please. That's all I want to know. I don't want to know about this and that and slashing interest rates and inflation going this way and that way. And they've brought down the interest rate by 0.25%. Is that going to make a difference to my life? No, no. And I think everyone in the room has realized that. We need to stop hoping that the economy is suddenly going to change. Um, unfortunately, it plays out in a host of ways in our lives. Mostly negative, well I can say all negative, uh, like the unemployment rate. We've got about 9 million people unemployed in the country. We've got about 700, 800,000 kids coming out of school every year into a workplace where there's no jobs. So we've got this problem that's just being exacerbated constantly. And when the economy's in a recession, we are losing jobs. So the problem is getting worse, right? The workplace has become extremely competitive. We see it in the form of not getting a raise in line with inflation. How many people in the audience have got a 7 8% raise for the last five years? Consistently, right? Do you realize that your salary is actually devalued? It's devalued when you've got the interest, uh, when inflation is sitting at 7%, you've got food inflation sitting at 11%. You need your salary to get increased in line with inflation. Otherwise, you're ending up with less and less every month, and we don't even realize it, right? Because companies, unfortunately, in an economy like the one we're in, are in survival mode. Companies are trying to survive. We are not thriving. From a macro point of view, we are certainly not thriving. And you're not, you can't even expect that 7% increase, right? You feel bad even asking for it. Uh, another way it plays out is, um, uh, like I said, food inflation, doubling, food's doubling in price every seven to eight years. Uh, someone said to me, you know, Oros used to be 27 Rand and now it's 41 Rand. We've got the Oros index in South Africa. Um, I used to think Woolworths was way more expensive, but I was shopping at Checkers the other day. Checkers vegetables are the same price as Woolworths. When did that happen? Right? We're paying that bonus for the big CEO, I think. But one of the things, and the economy is very frustrating because we don't have any control over the economy. You can do what you want. Unless Malusi sitting in the audience here, I assume most of us have got absolutely no control over the economy. And it's extremely frustrating when you don't have control over your financial destiny. One aspect you do have control over, however, is the four-letter word that you see up on the screen. Do you see the four-letter word? I tease you because I know you're in love with that four-letter word. You're in love with it. South Africans love it. They love it. Right? South Africans generally engage mostly in debt instruments. Mostly. And very few of us actually start engaging in savings or investments. Um, on average, South Africans will only start looking at investment products when they're around the age of 50. It's taken you that long to, to learn, right? Get rid of debt and start investing. Unfortunately, we are afforded debt at a pretty early age. The moment you start earning a paycheck, it gets paid into a bank account. And that's a great indicator that you are more likely to pay for products and services on a monthly basis. That beautiful thing called the debit order. You know the debit order? That SMS you get at just a couple of hours after your salary has been put into your bank account. <laughs> you see, the financial service industry has also got 
gotten a little more aware. They know when you're getting paid your salary. And it's a bum rush to get debit orders in as quickly as possible. Because in this economy, when we've got 50% of the people that, are un that have debt in their lives, and I assume almost everyone in the room has got some form of debt, right? Whether it's an Edgar's card or whether it's a home loan, we've all got some type of debt. And 50% of those people are under debt review, which means 50% of their population has not been able to keep up with their debt commitments or the cost of living for longer than three months. Three months in a row, they've missed payments, missed payments, missed payments. It's an indicator to how desperate we are as a society from a financial point of view. And so, boy, when you get that salary, those banks run to put their debit orders in to get their share of what you agreed to pay them. Yeah? So we've got this thing called debt. Uh, Unfortunately, you might think, probably in your 20s, I think back to my 20s, and I think, oh, yeah, I had a little bit of debt. I think the first thing I went and bought was a car. When I started getting paid a salary, I bought a little green City Golf. Nearly got stolen in the first week that I had it. I didn't even have insurance. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. I came out of my friend's house, and there were a couple of chaps sitting in my car. Um, I got insurance very quickly after that. Um, so I got a car, right? My first form of debt. Then I got credit cards. Um, I think I might have had an Edgar's card in those days. And you suddenly find, when you start getting older, you get into your 30s and 40s, when you start developing all this accountability in your life, you've got a family to look after, your kids to send to school, you're stressing about your kids, getting a good education, putting food on the table. With all this accountability, you find yourself in this debt cycle that you can't get out of. You can't get out of. We see it. All the statistics that we get from the FSB. South Africans get into this debt cycle that they're unable to get out of at all. You know, a few of us might start getting out of it a little bit when we get into our 50s, when we start seeing South Africans start engaging in investment products, but most of us will die with debt. And who takes care of the debt once we die? That gets passed on. It doesn't disappear. The banks, the financial institutions go, ah, oh, that person died. Let's just write this debt off. They go, pass me that guy's kid's phone numbers. <laughs> you better believe it. The debt does not disappear. It gets passed on from generation to generation. There are a lot of studies that show how hard it is to break out of these social levels uh, that we find ourselves in, right? Uh, societal classes. It's extremely difficult to break out of them because we have this debt cycle that passes on from generation to generation. And I'm hoping that by the end of this presentation, you see an opportunity for not only yourself, but as an entire generation for you to break out of this debt cycle for the sake of yourself as well as your family. Okay. So we start getting a little bit older. At 50, we start de uh, deciding we need to start investing in money. Why do we suddenly start deciding that we need to look at investment products when we're in our 50s? Because 10 years before retirement, you've realized, oh, I'm retiring in 10 years. So here's some data that Tim sent me uh, at the end of last year. It was published on the Fin24 website. Uh, this article was predicated on the fact that uh, we're not dying as soon as we thought we were dying. Uh, the average uh, age of death, the mortality rate in South Africa at the moment sits at 74. So women are dying on average today at the age of 74. Men, we don't live as long. We decide to go a little earlier um, <laughs> but the guys in the room everyone in the room we're going to live beyond 74 they reckon kids being born today are going to live at least to 100 already in south africa today there are over 4,000 people that are in excess of 100 years of age isn't that amazing 4,000. what do they eat <laughs> right i'm 40 and i'm starting to feel old so we've got this rising mortality rate, and the article was predicated on the fact that now for retirement planning, you need to plan for about 30 years at least, right? So when you retire at 60, you're probably going to live to 90. You have to have an investment in place that will keep you going for 30 years. And so this article is broken up into three columns, and each column is headed with a number. The number represents an income that you would derive if you had an investment in place. Okay, so let's look at the first column. You'll find this very interesting. Who can survive on 5,000 rand a month once they retire? No one. No one, no one, no one, no one, no one. Who is actively, currently, actively engaged in a retirement plan saving towards a million rand? One or two people? Can you see the problem? This column on the far left here, 
paints a picture of what your retirement is going to look like. 2% of the population get to retirement financially independent. 2%. It's about 150 people in the room. That's three of us. Three of us statistically are going to get to retirement earning an income level that we can cope with. What are the rest of us going to do? We're going to be put into this class called financially dependent. You're going to be out there scrambling to find a job, becoming a burden to your children, asking family, having to sell your car, sell your house, move into something smaller. You're here on a Saturday morning because I'm assuming that you have some hope in your heart that you're not going to have to face that when you get to retirement. You're part of the population that goes, I better start making a plan. And this is the plan. This is the plan. Out of all of this negativity, as a business, we actually saw an opportunity to create a system, a platform that the average South African can engage in to break out of the cycle of debt, to change their financial destiny. Not to be at the mercy of the economy, of employment, of what the country is doing from a political and an economic point of view. Right? So for once, you're going to try to take control out of, over your income. And hopefully, with success, we've got three aspirations for the people that join this business. Number one is to see the people that join this business to become debt-free. Think about what that means. Because that actually means that you need to make decisions on a daily basis to become debt-free. Can you imagine? No debt. No debt. You don't own Edgar's money. You don't own Fashini's money. You don't have credit cards. You pay for your kid's education a year up front. You own the house you live in. You own the car that you drive. There are no debit orders that go off your account when your salary comes in. Think about that. Your entire salary arrives in your bank account. And no one takes anything. You get to decide how you're spending that money that month. That's what we want the people that join this business. That's the status we want to see you achieve. But it does. It requires decisions all the time. And I sit on Facebook all the time. And Facebook's got these little ads that come up. Right? New Nikes have arrived. 3,000 Rand! And I'm like, oh, how can I get 3,000 Rand? Then I remember, that's not going to get me to debt-free status. It isn't, right? It requires these daily decisions. Our second aspiration is to see the people that join this business start engaging in true investments as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Our products have got a tagline that says, reward yourself first. It's a phrase that has been coined over the, uh, over the years. Pay yourself first. Some of the other financial institutions use it. What does that mean? It means instead of paying all the debit orders to everybody else once your salary arrives, try paying yourself first. It means try putting money into an investment for your sake. Debit orders are just paying everybody else when you have debt. It's not for you. So we want to see you start engaging in an investment product as quickly as possible. And then the third aspiration is just to see everybody happier. Again, that's why you're here on a Saturday morning instead of at home with your children or watching sports or whatever it is you do on Saturday mornings. Because you have some hope that this will change your circumstance. That you'll be happy at the end of the month instead of stressed. We see it. Even in the products that we have as an insurance company. In January and December, the most amount of debit orders fail over that period. Why? Because the majority of South Africans are in this debt cycle. It's no different. No different. We all go through the year come December. We want to go on holiday. There's Christmas. The kids are going back to school. They might need new uniforms, stationery, textbooks. And we see no one's got money in December and January. Just from a macro point of view. This presentation is about an opportunity to break out of that cycle. So how does it work? Our guests here this morning, you have the opportunity to join Dewpoint. You contract with us. When you contract with us, we call you wealth engineers. And as wealth engineers, you're only expected to do one thing. And that is to go out and build what we call channels of distribution. Through these channels of distribution that you're building, we'll attempt to place product with the people that you introduce to us. And that's basically how this entire business works. As simply as that. The benefit for you is you get to create an additional income stream. This is obvious. This is why you're here. But this is also the only way you're going to pay off your debt any quicker than you currently are. 
if you're in a debt cycle, you don't have options. You don't have options. Because your salary, all your salary does currently for you is pay your bills and the cost of living on a month-to-month -month basis. And additional income suddenly gives you options. And I hope that the option you choose is to pay your debt off as quickly as possible. The nature of the income that you produce here is recurring. Now, this is an awesome benefit because a recurring income is something that pays you into the future without necessarily giving any effort into the future. So the effort that you put into building these channels of distribution in July 2017, right? One month's effort can potentially pay you for the next 10 years. It's like owning an asset and renting it out. You own the asset. You don't have to run around and keep buying the asset month to month, but you can rent it out and create this passive income for yourself. This is the income that you're going to produce here. You get to harness the power of duplication. We've designed the system to put leverage in place. What is leverage? Why does the CEO get the biggest salary? Why does he get the biggest bonus? It's because he's leveraging the entire company to his benefit. He's got everyone working for him. In this business, when you go build these channels of distribution, you have the opportunity to build teams that will collaborate with you. So if you only have an hour a day to afford this business, but you've got 10 people collaborating with you, each putting in an hour a day, suddenly your business has got 11 hours being invested into it on a daily basis, which will increase your recurring income and the value of your asset. This business is flexi time. When I started giving this presentation, I made the mistake of thinking that flexi time was this great benefit that everyone would love. But what I realized over time was that it's very much a double-edged sword. Yes, it's flexi time. You get to dictate the hours that you decide on. But if you want to be successful in this business, you have to make sure that you're going to sacrifice time on a routine, scheduled basis. This is not a New Year's resolution. We're not yet trying to lose weight or trying to stop smoking or one of those frivolous things, right? After you had too much peach schnapps on the 31st of December, making these decisions. We are talking about your life, your retirement, your livelihood, the livelihood of your family. So I'm asking you, by the end of this presentation, if this business is something that you'd like to partner with, at least decide in your mind how Dewpoint is going to fit into your weekly schedule. Are you going to be here every Saturday morning? Is dew point something you do Saturday and Sunday? Is it something you do on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings? You need to decide that because I promise you, if you haven't made that commitment, you're not going to be successful in this. Anyone can join this business. But if you're going to make it work for you, know that that's the starting point. Time commitment. There's no startup capital. There's no registration fees in this business. We don't lock you into... 12 or 24 month contract there's no boxes of products that you have to buy to get started in this business we make this opportunity as low risk as possible for you to get involved with there's no qualifications or experience required i'm very happy to say i got ambushed by the way i got i joined the business i was going to head up all the communications and the marketing of the business and then brendan said to me no you now need to go do financial service board exams it's like what that's not me. I'm not one of the accountants. That's the accountant's job. I had to go do 18 months of exams to comply with all the FSB regulation in this financial services business in an insurance company. We actually contract you out of that obligation. So you can enjoy the benefits of being involved in financial services without the obligation or the regulatory aspects we have to abide by. You get to build an asset. Now, this is a very important point because if I propose to you that I want you to sacrifice your time in this business on a regular basis, at least know that the time you're investing into this business is in, in an asset that you have ownership over. Does that sound good? This is the opposite of employment, by the way. How many of you have got shares in your business? How many of you get a dividend check at the end of every quarter? How many of you got any control in the business that you're in? Yet we'll spend 40, 45 years investing in someone else's business with a greater prospect of being retrenched than promoted in this economy, right? It's the antithesis of an employment. In this business, you get to build this asset that you have ownership over. You can sell it one day. You can give it to your kids to carry on when you're too old to get out of bed. You can seed it to your beneficiaries if something happens to you. You can be smart and put it into a family trust. 
You've got options. There's no selling involved in this business. Zero reaction. I'll say it again. <laughs> There's no selling in this business. That's the first question you asked the person that invited you here. What are we selling at this business? Ah, I'm tired of selling. I'm not interested in those businesses anymore. Right? That was the question. What are the products you said? What are the products? What are we selling? You aren't selling. We actually contract you out of selling. All you're going to be doing in this business is telling people about the business opportunity. You're going to be sharing one of the most attractive commodities that exists in South Africa today. And that's income opportunity. That's what people want to know about. Because we're all in the same boat. Right? The nature of our products are financial. So we don't have any of the issues. Stock. If you brought your uncle's bucky, that's been a waste of time. You're not going home with boxes. <laughs> Right? Our products don't expire. They don't take up space at home. We make this business and the system as convenient as possible for you to get involved in. But you have to go out and build these channels of distribution. So what do those look like? It begins with you. You become a wealth engineer this morning. Like I said, the only thing you're going to do is go tell people about the business opportunity that exists here. If you're successful in that and you're able to get some friends, colleagues, acquaintances, whoever, family interested and they come sit through a presentation like this or watch it on the live stream or watch it on a little USB stick that you give them and they join the business and take out a product that is the beginning of your channel of distribution and those five people will go out and do the same thing right except that guy he won the lotto he doesn't have to do anything but they go out and do the same thing and suddenly you have this organic growth that takes place in your business in your asset Every dot represents someone with a product on this page that you're getting paid a recurring income. How much effort did it take to introduce five people into this business? Over time, this is what a channel can look like. We want the people, the wealth engineers that join this business to build a sustainable business that they can take six months of holiday one day and get paid every month while they're on holiday. Does that happen at work? I always say to the audience, just go to your boss on Monday and say you want six months of leave. Just try. <laughs> you never know until you try. <laughs> but I reckon he'll print out a resignation letter and say, just sign here. You can have as much leave as you want. <laughs> That's the position we want you to be in. Right? We need to step out of this box of employment. Employment was created during the Industrial Revolution. Did you know that? For industry. For the purposes of industry. Not so that we could have good lives and live the way we want to live. It was the answer to industrialization. Working 9 to 5. Working for someone else. Going to factories. Working in these processes. Now mostly service-based businesses. Soon those jobs are going to be taken over by computers. This is something that you're going to do for yourself, on your own. The accountability, although, lies with you. So this is what a channel of distribution looks like. And over time, a couple of more dots will appear, yeah, and your recurring income will increase. This is my disclaimer slide. I forgive everyone once, only once, for arriving here thinking I've been invited to one of those get-rich-quick scheme presentations. Right? How many of you thought that? Don't be shy, I know a few of you did. <laughs> right? The person that invited you said, Ah, those things don't work. I'm going to tell you now. We're a 70 year old insurance company. We are not one of those schemes. Right? We're a very reputable business. We're very reputable individuals in this business. At the same time, I'll never promise you success in this business quickly or easily because it doesn't exist. On the previous slide, I spoke about the benefits. Yes, we make the business as convenient and as easy as possible to get involved with, but not to be successful at. If you want to be successful in this business, it requires, like anything in life, commitment, the ability to get over frustration, purpose so that you don't quit, a long-term vision, not short-term expectations. If you embody those values, I promise you, 
there's success for you in this business. But don't come complain to me after three months or six months and say, oh, this business doesn't work. I spoke to one of the wealth engineers. I was asking him how his business was going. He said, don't ask me now. Ask me in five years. I was like, boy, you could be a poster child here at Dew Point. <laughs> right? That's your outlook. That's what you need to think. At the end of the presentation, I want you to start dreaming. Let your imagination run wild and think, what can this business do for me in 10 or 20 years? You have to have this massive why of where this business can get you. Because only having a big why like that will get you out of bed in the morning. And the first thing you think about is not the traffic that you have to face, but dew point. Because if you can think like that, with that kind of passion and belief, I promise you there's success. But it will never happen short term. Never. So let's talk about the money. This is what we pay our wealth engineers at the end of every month. We call it a return. Uh, we pay a base return fee of 27 Rand 50 for every product that you have in your channel. So remember the first five people you introduced to your business? These people lie on your first point. They are one point away from you. And on your first point, we actually pay you double the 27 Rand 50. We pay you 55 Rand for every product on your first point. And remember, it's recurring income. It's not once off. We pay you that 55 Rand every single month going forward. On your second point, the same thing, 55 Rand every month. On the third point, you see the multiplier drops back down to 100%. And then as these products get further and further away from you, the multiplier starts to drop all the way to the eight points. That 4%, you're getting paid 1 Rand 10 for every product beyond that point. Right? We don't limit you on how big your channel can get. So from the eight point, in theory, into infinity, we will keep paying you that 4% of the 27 Rand 50. We don't limit you on the size of your channel. We don't limit you on how much money you can make at due point. Again, the accountability lies with you. So this is the mechanics of the returns. It's fairly straightforward. The next question we get is naturally, well, give me an idea of how much money I can earn here at due point after a certain amount of time. So the accountants went out. They built this thing called the path to success. I made it look pretty. They just gave me a whole bunch of numbers in Excel. Uh, but what it is, is it's dependent on this growth formula that they came up with. And the growth formula is called 3 plus 2. It assumes that a new wealth engineer in their first month can go out and bring three people successfully into the business. Right? Just three. Not the five. Three. But every consecutive month thereafter, you bring in another two people. Right? So that's why we call it 3 plus 2. Because you're going to be doing three in the first month and then two, 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 two which turns out to be one every two weeks. Does that sound doable? Right? Not too onerous. If you can do that, after six months, you could be earning about 2,500 Rand in returns here at Point. Again, zero reaction. Guys, we're talking about money here. This is why you're here. You're allowed to boo. Okay, maybe not. I've got security outside. But is 2,500 Rand a lot? Is it a little? Have I dashed your expectations? You thought, oh, I came here on Saturday morning for 2,500 Rand. Right? That was my experience. When I saw the numbers in Excel, it was six months, two and a half thousand rand. I was like, jeepers, six months of work. <laughs> Nikes are three thousand rand. <laughs> right? But let's give the money some context because really what I want our wealth engineers in this business to start doing is to start thinking about money differently. I love this quote from Einstein. He said, Com the compounding effect is the eighth wonder of the world. The banks got onto that very quickly, right? Compound interest. You're either on the good side of compound interest or you're on the bad side of compound interest. I bet the majority of us in this room are on the bad side of compound interest, right? That's why our first aspiration is to see our wealth engineers pay their debt off as quickly as possible. So let's look at it from that point of view. So after six months, here we have an example of someone who's got a one million rand bond with the bank, okay? So they found a lovely townhouse here in Bryanston, didn't have the cash, went to the bank. Bank gave them a million rand and said, okay, you're going to be paying us back over the next 20 years, your bond term, about 11,500 rand a month at the current interest rate, right? 11,500 rand for the next 20 years. So if you, my age, you're 40 years old, and I find this house, start, I uh, engage in this bond, I'm going to become a homeowner at the age of 60. Right? That's going to be the first time that I become a homeowner. I finally paid that house off at the age of 60. But I joined Dewpoint, and with some success, six months later, I'm earning 2,500 Rand. Do I go buy the Nikes? No. 
sure. I need to maybe wait another couple of months. No, you don't buy the Nikes. But I know we're all tempted to do that. We're tempted to do that. That's why I say we need to start changing the paradigm, our thinking around money. You take the two and a half thousand rand and you put it into your debt. You put that two and a half thousand rand as an additional payment into your bond. Right? So not, you're not going to pay eleven and a half thousand rand. Now you're paying 11, 12, 13, 14. 14,000 rand back to the bank. Do you know what the net effect is of that? It means that you pay the bond off and instead of paying it off in 20 years, you pay it off in 11 and a half years. I become a homeowner when I'm 51. Not 60. Do you know how much money this saves you in repayments back to the bank? Guess what this net effect, the savings that you make. Real hard cash savings. A million rand. Doesn't that blow your mind? The house you bought costs a million rand. How can I save the whole value of the house with two and a half thousand rand? This is what compound interest is all about. Pay your debt off as quickly as possible. You'll save a million rand. That's six months away. After 12 months, you're nearly 9,000 rand a month. That's in excess of 100,000 rand in annual recurring income that you created for yourself. Anyone get a 100,000 rand bonus in the last financial year? Sure, employment's not looking good, huh? <laughs> 12 months away. After 24 months, you're on about 30,000 rand a month. Now we're talking real options, right? Doesn't matter how much money you earn, extra 30,000 rand coming into your household is going to make a big difference. Your spouse is going to love you long time. <laughs> That's a great aspiration of mine. If I can say to my wife, you don't have to go to work anymore. You can stay at home with the kids. That would be probably one of the most awesome gifts I could give my family. After 36 months, you're probably close to about 50,000 rand a month. At the 30-month mark, you're probably earning about 36,000 rand. Yeah, we have an example of a 5 million rand bond. You put 36,000 rand as an additional payment into that bond, you'll pay a 5 million rand house off in less than 7 years. That's also one of the, one of the things I kind of attach to, one of the examples, because I'm 40, I think, well, by the age of 61, I could do this exercise three times over. Right? That's 21 years. I could buy three houses, 5 million rand each, pay them each off in less than 7 years. So when re Brendan's ready to retrench me early, I have options. I'm living in one house and renting out two for 50, 60,000 rand a month in, rec in passive income. Paying your own bond off is not an investment, by the way. Who thought that? Oh, uh, if I just pay my house off. You know, buy a house, they say I mustn't rent. Buy the house, if I pay the house off, then I'm, I'm fine. As long as I can pay the house off before I retire. No. That is a good thing, but that's not what we want, right? Because when you're in the 98% of the population, you can pay your house off. But when you don't have income coming into your house, what's that going to help? Your salary ends when you get to retirement and you're living in the house that you paid off. Your option then is to sell your house, move into a caravan, and then use those funds to carry on living. If you want to make property an asset, you need to start planning about getting that second property, that third property, the fourth property. After 48 months, you're on about 70,000 Rand a month. After 60 months, a short five years, five years away, you've created for yourself about a million Rand in annual recurring income. Do you believe, even believe you can get there? I don't think you do. I don't think people connect with that. Right? I say a million Rand in annual recurring income. Everyone's like, yeah, but two and a half thousand is not a lot after six months. <laughs> That's how we think. I know how we think. I see it in this business. This is a people business. I'm learning a lot about people in this business. Short-term expectations. It's going to kill your future. You need to start planning long-term, right? And it's difficult. It is difficult. Because you have to get through all that initial frustration. You're going to see one of the wealth engineers, I'm going to speak about her, that's coming up uh, in one of the later slides. But is 60 months that much commitment? Remember, this example was based on this thing called 3 plus 2. Can you do 3 plus 2? 
Are you happy for three plus two to get you to two and a half thousand rand after six months and a million rand annually after five years? You say you do. But this is all academic. It is. This is an example that the accountants came up with. They rolled it out onto a spreadsheet. I made it look pretty. It's just an example. You can do a lot less than three plus two, by the way. You can join and do nothing. Right? You haven't committed to dew point. You become part of the zero plus zero club here at dew point. <laughs> Fortunately, they don't come here. So you don't have to mix with them. But there is. There's a large zero plus zero club. But you can do on the other side of it, you can do more than three plus two, right? The accountability lies solely with you. I'm not going to dictate to you. This is an example. Do more than three plus two. Here's Jack from Whitbank, where they mine all the coal. He joined at the beginning of the year, right? By February, earning 935 rand a month. By May, so what's that? February, March, April, May. Four months. In four months, he got to over 3,000 rand a month. In a single month, what is it, May, June, July? Two months, he more than doubled his income. Right? This is the second question you're going to ask your boss on Monday morning. Can I have a 100% raise in my salary this year? <laughs> Just try. Right? It's laughable. It's laughable. We're begging for 7% increase annually. That's why I say, step out of this employment box. Employment is great. It'll pay your bills. But that's not what you want for your life. Step out of it and start thinking out that box. Take control over your own income. Engelbert, he's been with us geez, since the beginning. I think the day after we launched the business, he's based in KZN. July started out very moderately. If you go listen to his testimony, all these wealth engineers that you see, their testimonies are actually on YouTube. You can go listen to their stories, right? And Engelbert admits he had, oh, his 2016 wasn't great. He had health issues and uh, disappointments in the business, up and down, up and down, up and down. But what's the difference? The difference is he didn't quit. He didn't quit the business. That's why I say belief in this business is so important. And Kanyezi from Boxburg, how do you get to 17,000 Rand a month in three months? Do you think she said, ah, oh, three plus two sounds good? Let me do three plus two. Do you know how you get to 17,000 Rand after three months? She speaks to 25 people a day. Right? That's the commitment she made to herself. I will speak to 25 people a day. You don't want to stand behind her in the queue at pick and pay. <laughs> That's the commitment, right? The accountability lies with you. If you're happy with 3 plus 2 and what 3 plus 2 gives you, then strategize around doing 3 plus 2. If you want more than that, you've got to do more. Right? It's not a complicated business. She speaks to her team every single morning. First thing she thinks about is dew point in the morning. She's got a full time job. She's run out of family, acquaintances, colleagues, her whole cell phone contact list, her friends' Facebook lists long ago. She's speaking to 25 strangers a day. Can you do that? Can you be that passionate? She gave a presentation to 100 people one day. 100 people. She said, Right. I'm going to do this presentation to these hundred people. Guess how many said no to? Ninety-eight. Would you have quit if ninety-eight people said to you, an entire room said to you, it's a scheme, it's one of those things. You're wasting your time. Those things don't work. People don't have time. Oh, it's not enough money. Ninety-eight people said no to. She had so much belief that it didn't stop her. She said, whatever. Next, I'll go speak to the next person. <laughs> Do you think she regrets where it's gotten her? All the work, all the commitment. Guys, this is what I want from you. If you decide to commit, don't hesitate. You're all in. Because if you're all in, you're going to have success. 
We've got hundreds of wealth engineers that we pay at the end of every single month that have created an additional income stream for themselves, making a difference to their households, to their families. They've all made a decision to commit to this business on various levels, and you need to decide what that level is. Over and above that, we've got an XP rewards program. So that was the returns. The returns is what we pay our wealth engineers at the end of every month. This is something over and above that called the XP rewards program. If you become a wealth engineer and start engaging in normal wealth engineer behavior, we give you something called XP, experience points. And when you start collecting more of this XP and your business starts to grow, we will reward you along the way. So here's the XP rewards table. If you become a wealth engineer this morning, you will start out as a rank zero wealth engineer. You're still part of the zero plus zero club. But very quickly, you can get to rank one because you only need 1,000 XP and you need four products in your qualified channel and boom, you become rank one and we'll give you an additional 55 rand on top of your return at the end of the month. And as you start to have more success and you're more active in the business, you'll start to rank up. You'll get to rank two and get 100 rand, 400 rand, 1,500 rand, 20,000 rand, 50,000 rand. The rewards get bigger and better as you rank up in this business. We give away tools to make you more effective at building your channel's distribution. So here's Patrick and Pumi with a lightning memory stick. There's an awesome little device that we found that plugs into anything. You can plug it into cell phones, tablets, laptops, computers, TVs. It doesn't matter if it's Android or Apple or Banana. It'll plug into it. <laughs> and more importantly, we've got all our video collateral on that. So it doesn't matter what device Patrick and Pumi have around them. They can plug that stick in and show people what Dewpoint's all about. At rank 7 you get these premium luxury business cards. A single set costs us in excess of 20,000 Rand, but we get them done in batches, so we brought the price down to 12,500 Rand. That's our cost. Why would we spend so much money on business cards? Because when you go out to speak to people, Dewpoint at this moment doesn't have any brand equity out there, right? We're not a household name. People don't know what Dewpoint's all about. But if you produce a business card that's 50 times more valuable than the one they have in their wallet, they will give you a little more time to explain what Dewpoint's all about and how you got that business card, right? These are tools to make you more effective. At rank 9, this is one everyone gets excited about. This is not a once-off reward. When you get to rank 9, this is a reward that you enjoy every single year with Dewpoint. This is what it's all about. Take a look.
So that's available for everybody in the room. Everyone. Equal opportunity. Got one person who got to rank nine in five months. There's no time limit on it. You can take as long as you want to get to rank nine. Our wealth engineers that get to rank nine are in, going to enjoy seven days away at a five-star luxury resort, business class flights for them and their families every single year going forward. Imagine how your life changes when you get to rank nine. We've already got three families that have qualified in the last six months. There's no time limit. Again, accountability lies with you. At rank 11, we spend a quarter of a million rand on a car and give it to the wealth engineer. No debit order at the end of the month. <laughs> Can you see how we want to get you to debt-free status? Right? This is rank 11. The rank table went up to rank 20. We've already designed up to rank 28 in the offices next door. Rank 28, guys. This is the beginning. It's the beginning. Accountability lies with you once again. You need to decide. How much time am I committing? Am I happy with 3 plus 2? Or do I want 17,000 rand a month after 3 months? Another benefit for wealth engineers is something that we do every single month. It's called the Wealth Quest. The Wealth Quest this month, which is a challenge that we issue to our wealth engineers, is called the Quest for Quality. If you're able to bring in two new wealth engineers into this business and help them get qualified, and you happen to have a 100% BPQ, which means all the debit orders go up successfully on your first and second point, you'll have 5,000 Rand plus 2,000 XP extra by the end of next month. 5,000 Rand in hard currency. So these are the wealth quests. New wealth quest every single month. We get asked the question, well, how does the business model work? Because it seems we're spending far too much money. Have you priced a business class ticket lately? This slide basically explains our business model. Traditional businesses, especially um, insurance companies, spend a massive amount of money on client acquisition through marketing and advertising that they do. Due point, you won't see a logo outside our, our offices. We don't do a stitch of marketing or advertising. Right? We depend on our wealth engineers to go tell people about the business opportunity. So instead of spending the billions that the insurance companies spend on client acquisition, we take that portion of our premium and we pay it to our wealth engineers in the form of returns and rewards. And that's basically how the business model works here. You might be wondering what on earth the products are, uh, because I've been speaking for 15 minutes and haven't even touched on the products, right? because you're going to be speaking about the business opportunity. But there are three products. You are free to take out one product or all three products. They have very different benefits. Okay? The first product is our investment product. It is called Access Wealth. It is 299 Rand a month, of which 100 Rand gets invested into a tax-free investment fund in your name. It's not a notice or a fixed deposit. You can draw that investment out at any stage. We give you a little bit of insurance with this investment product. We give you 110,000 Rand's worth of personal accident cover. Okay, so if something happens to you and you're this investment owner, we'll pay out your beneficiaries 110,000 Rand. So this is the investment product. The second product is called Wealth Guard. This is purely an insurance product. Okay, 274 Rand a month. This time you get 1.1 million Rand's worth of personal accident cover. The beauty of our personal accident cover is that we don't profile you from a health point of view, a risk point of view, right? So you don't have a nurse coming to you asking for blood and urine tests and we want to know your entire medical history. We don't profile you from that point of view. So anyone over the age of 18 can take out this product. You can be 70 years old. You can be diabetic. You can still take out the product. The premium and the cover remain the same. The third product is called the Wealth Points Buyers Club Program. It is 274 Rand a month. You get to engage in the list of partners that you see there. We've negotiated discounts for the people part of this Wealth Points program. Our aim is to save you money on the money you're spending anyway. So we've got a whole list of retailers there. ShopRite Checkers is very popular. You get 2.5% off your entire trolley at ShopRite Checkers. We've got Eagle Ford. We've sold a number of cars through Eagle Ford already, right? The savings there would outstrip the cost of the premium here by far. There's over a million rand in buy one, get one free vouchers through the entertainer. We've just signed on a new partner, a data partner, into the Wealth Points program called Always On. You can get a gig for less than 37 rand through Always On. They've got 2,500 super Wi-Fi hotspots around the country. Guys, we are very much a data-driven business. 
There is no printed anything in this business. Great opportunity to get data at a lot cheaper than the going rate. So if you're looking for any for immediate benefit out of any of the products, the Wealth Points program is a great product to look at. If you have any questions on the product, come speak to me afterwards. I remind you of the support that you get here. Lean into the support that you get here. Don't assume you can do this business on your own or you know how to do it or you're going to do it better than anyone else. I had someone come up to me and say, I'm a mathematician. What's the best way to build this business? I was like, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> this is not a complicated business. It isn't. This is very much a people business. It's one-on-one. One-on-one. -on -one. One -on -one. There's no manipulation of this business. But lean into the support because we'll help you. Right? Remember, I said the staff here, it's our mandate to support the people that join this business. We want to see you effective. We've got a live stream that goes out to the entire country every single day, nearly, except Sundays. It's your opportunity to go build your channels of distribution outside of Johannesburg, right? Leverage, power of duplication. So harness that. The decision slide. What is the decision this morning? For those of you that are interested in engaging with Dewpoint to start creating an additional income stream, I hope that the decision supplementary to that or complementary to that is what you are going to sacrifice to make Dewpoint successful. Because if you make it successful, we are going to be bosom buddies for life. Right? Do you realize that? Do you realize that this could be a lifetime commitment? That your children might be committed to this business? That's the vision we want you to have. That's the decision you need to make this morning. Yes, I'm going to do this Dewpoint thing. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to be doing this every Saturday, every Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, every night of the week. What is it? What does it look like in your life? You need to go home and tell your spouse you're making that sacrifice, right? Make that commitment. We're here to support you. We make joining very easy. Jump onto our homepage. If you've got your own smartphone or tablet on you, we've got uh, iPads available. Jump onto the homepage. Click on the blue apply button. Go through the application form. It takes seven minutes. At the end of it, you'll be a wealth engineer. We'll SMS and email you all the policy and plan documents, as well as your wealth engineer number. You can start adding value to this asset that you suddenly have ownership over today. Today, you can start building value. Aim for that wealth quest. 5,000 rand over and above the rewards and the returns is on offer this month. Grab it, guys. Grab it. We've got merchandise. It's not a profit center for us. Please consider getting business cards. This business very much depends on first impressions. When you go speak to somebody, it is about first impressions. It's about the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you look. Have business cards when you're proposing this wonderful business opportunity. Right? So we've got business cards on offer. They're on display in the merchandise cabinet. The pricing's on the counter. USB stick's very convenient because we've got our video collateral on the USB stick. You can buy the USB stick. The pins represent people earning money in the business. This pin over here. Don't go ask advice from someone who doesn't have a pin. Right? That would be a mistake. When you become one of those wealth engineers that start earning money, get the pin. It represents, wear it with pride, it represents that you're making this business work. There's no difference between rank 1 and rank 9, by the way. The activity remains the same. If you can get to rank 1, if you can get excited about 55 rand, you can get to rank 9. The activity is the same. It just requires that persistence. We've got a YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel because all our videos get put onto that YouTube channel. It'll tell you every time a new video is loaded up. It'll tell you every time we've got a live stream about to go out. If you become a wealth engineer, download the mobile app. It runs on your smartphone. It tells you in real time what's happening in your channel. It tells you whether you're making money while you're sleeping. That's what that app's going to do for you. It's going to put a smile on your face, hopefully, every morning when you wake up. I come into the offices. I bring up our report. I see how many people have joined between midnight and 6 o'clock in the morning. That's make people making money while you're sleeping. Let's be part of it. Guys, I thank you for your time. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Come chat to me afterwards if you have any questions. Good luck.